a new day Pull your bridges up and tie your shoelace Don't worry about them haters, send them bouquets Get that dough in a few ways Pack your tears up inside your suitcase Cause it's a long ass road Sometimes it's overbearing feels Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Alvin Brown and this is Soulful Saturday. This is part of the week where we focus on the temple, inside the temple. We go inside to do some house cleaning, you know, some housekeeping inside the soul space. And so I talk about anything that will help you to remain authentic to who you are, anything for you to feel abundant, like you deserve so many good things that are coming to you, and also nurturing relationships with yourself and with others. So that, and that's, I feel that's how you touch into that soul space and get deep. So what I've been doing all week, and I've been doing this for a few weeks now, is I've been gathering up five days a week on Instagram. I've been putting up a minute long bits and bytes of certain topics. So I've been focusing on a lot of books lately, books I have in my library and sharing those in, the information from those books. So this week we looked at a book called Mindset by Carol Dweck. I'm gonna let you watch the videos and then I'll be back at the end but the videos pretty much summarize the book and give you some extra tips and strategies. Check them out, I'll be back. Everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine, it's Monday morning, here we go. All right, it's your doctor with a little checkup from the neck up. All right, so I got a new book for you. I got a new book for you. I got a big library and I wanna share, I wanna use this outlet to share. It's a new book about mindset. It is The New Psychology of Success and it's written by Carol Dweck. She's a leading researcher from Stanford and she studies in the area of motivation. And so she brings a book, the subtitle, How We Can Learn to Fulfill Our Potential. Right, you gotta check it out. All right, so this book is about, it's a mindset, there's a certain mindset you have, whether you find that you continue to hit against walls and you can't get where you wanna go, or you find that you just can't lose. You know, some people just can't lose. It's a mindset and we wanna talk about that this week. So get ready for that. Get your week started. Get it jump started. Here we go. Rise and shine. Peace and love, everybody. Have a great week. Check out. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine. All right, so this week we're focusing on the book Mindset by Carol Dweck. In the book, she focuses on two particular mindsets. One of them will get you to where you want to go and live a life of abundance. The other will lead to frustration. Here are the two. We're going to start with the fixed mindset and the growth mindset, and we're going to break it down throughout the week. The fixed mindset believes that all my errors tells me about me and my character and how far I can go. The other mindset, the growth mindset, it leads to where I feel that even if I don't get what I want, I learn from it and I grow from it. And there, that mindset entertains you striving and entertains you taking chances. The other mindset, you don't take a lot of chances because you believe it's set out and my intelligence is set and it's something against me. That's the ceiling, I hit my ceiling. So we're gonna break them down. So she focuses on the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine. All right, so this week we're talking about the book Mindset by Carol Dweck. And as you know, she lists two specific mindset. The fixed mindset, the growth mindset. Fixed mindset is the one where you have ceilings. You have limitations. And you think you're set either in your intelligence, your physical body, or your finances. You can't get any further. The growth mindset says, I can get through anything if I keep persevering. And even if I fall and stumble, I just get back up and keep on doing it. See, but here's the thing. We can't just go, I'm this, this mindset and thank God I'm not that one and start to eliminate ourselves. Listen, we suffer for it in different areas. What area of your life do you struggle in? Your relationships, your finances, your health? Well, you you got a fixed mindset in that area. And once you are aware of that, because if you're thinking about money and you're struggling with it, that's because you got a fixed mindset. You can only get it one way and you can only do it this way. I want you to shift your mindset. Same thing as your health. Maybe your age. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm certain this age and I can't get through change your mindset. Once you shift it around and you start to play in that growth mindset area, you start to elevate. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine. All right, remember we're talking about the book Mindset by Carol Dweck. All right, I heard a great quote that'll totally help you and it helped me to kind of adopt and get it, get this whole growth mindset thing working for me. All right, here it is by Bill Gates. He said, people overestimate what they can do in a year, but they totally underestimate what they can do in 10. That, what that does for me is that lets me realize that growth, develop a growth mindset, you gotta develop the mindset of grinding and being patient and knowing that nothing good comes overnight. You need to build the skills, you need to build the chops 
over time and being patient is the key and being okay with failure and getting back up because the road to success isn't a straight line it is about falling it's about getting up it's about learning and that's what you develop when you develop this instant grat mentality you develop a fixed mindset because you will experience failure all right check it out love it peace everybody what's going on it's friday and it is the end of the week and we're talking about the book mindset by carol dweck all right so you know in the book she talks about two kind of mindsets the fixed mindset and the growth mindset so I'm gonna lean into the growth mindset a bit and tell you why it's so exciting to develop that kind of mindset here it is a lot of people make goals instant gratification just to get the goal and a lot of times when you get to the end you realize the goal just pales in comparison to the wanting of it the desire of it daily grind they love the process people with a growth mindset love the process why because they realize that the goal is not the real deal what it is is a process because you realize if you set your goal big, hairy, audacious and get you excited, it's about what you become to achieve it. The person you become from day one to day end when you're ending is a totally different person. It builds your character. You develop to be something amazing. You just keep building on building on that. So get to love the grind. Get to love the process. It's who you're becoming. All right. So that was the wrap up of the week on the book called Mindset. The mindset, the reason why mindset ties with the soul is that fixed mindset versus the growth mindset. The growth mindset allows you, human beings, we love change. We love to grow and we, that's part of our human need is growth. Who wants to stand still in their life and live out Groundhog's Day every day? The more you're able to adopt and adapt to the growth mindset. It allows you possibilities. It allows you to accept failures, which you will, quote unquote, failures. They're really learning lessons, but in society we call them failures. When you adopt the growth mindset, it allows you to accept failures, shortcomings, and learn from them. You know, it's like Conor McGregor, he said recently, it's not his quote, but he's made it so popular. He said, I either win or I learn. And that's what the growth mindset is about. You either win or you learn and if you're an elite athlete if you're any kind of athlete and if you're in just daily life that is life you will make errors that's a guarantee that you will make errors that's how you learn and that's how you grow nobody goes straight up from zero to wherever you want to go without some faltering along the way but with the growth mindset you realize that every little step the process you just want to master the process it ain't about the end, it ain't about the journey, the goal, getting it. Because a lot of times, you, you know, you can think to yourself, you've achieved things. You've got the girl you want, the guy you want, the money sometimes, you've achieved it. And you realize that this is it. That's it, I'm done. That's the thing. It's a process. It's who you're becoming, as I said in that last video. Who you're becoming by doing the act and getting towards the goal you want. That's what you got to focus on. So adopt the growth mindset into your lifestyle. Check yourself, because we also do the fixed mindset in various areas. Wherever you're struggling, as I said in the video, is where you have a fixed mindset. You have a limitation, a limited belief about this thing. You need to check that and switch it to that growth mindset. Wherever you're struggling in your finances, this is all I can earn. How am I gonna earn some more? I don't have the education. Those are all fixed mindset. You can learn more, you can shift environments you can get a new job you can educate yourself you can hustle more at work and make them a deal that if I do this what if I do this for free and I get a profit will you split the profit with me something like that see there's so many ideas so get the growth mindset start to nourish the soul because your soul wants to be liberated and wants to grow it doesn't like fix fixed mentalities and fixed realities it doesn't like to be limited it wants to grow it was made to nourish and become more of what it is so adopt that ground that growth mindset implement in your life see where you're struggling and where you're having struggles and limitations because you're in a fixed mindset state and shift it if necessary all right on to next time check out our website journey personal greatness.com in the center for healing and peak performance.com check me out on the social media and until monday for monday mindset peace and love have a very soulful saturday and a soulful weekend peace it's how you shoelace, don't worry about them haters, send them bouquets, get that dough in a few ways.
your tears up inside your suitcase Cause it's a long ass road Sometimes it's overbearing, feels like a plane's cargo I'm just having dreams of Java Mercy, a law goes I love them shits but I don't wanna 